and gentlemen, or should I say friends? Um, I've got the great delight this afternoon to introduce you, or rather reintroduce you, to one of the greatest baritones of our times, a wonderful director, an author, a painter, and this afternoon a wonderful mentor to all our young artists. So I'd like you all to put your hands together and welcome Sir Thomas Allen. <coughs> Thank you, Rita. I'm not going to argue with that. We've known one another far, far too long. She knows far too much about me. Um, as I said to the students this morning, students, they're not students, they're, I don't know what they are, but they're not students. Uh, they're on, the, on their way. And I said to them this morning that this is uh, playtime, really. Um, we're, we're going to try and ignore you, you incomers incomers and just get on with work. Occasionally there'll be reference to you because that's what I try to do so that you don't feel out of it entirely. But it's a working session and uh, we'd better get on with it. I've no idea what's coming up. It's like Paul Daniels saying, I don't know any of you, do I? <laughs> oh Lord, I can't do that. Okay. Ilya. Yes. And Lucas. How are you? Fine. And Lucas, hello. Hi. Good to meet you. Um, and to meet you too. What would you like to do? Kennst du das Land? Kennst du das Land? Yeah. Of course. If it's okay. I know it very well, thank you. Perfect. <laughs> now I think on this occasion you should just maybe just say who you are and what you're going to do. Yeah. We are Lucas Ubersierra and Elia Ferreras Cabero from Germany, Spain, and we will perform Kenzo das Land von, uh, from Ugo Wolf. Oh. 
Lucas, before anything else, I let's just have a look at your score. Yes. Could you? Where are we? That's big. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we just g g give me this, these three bars here and then going into this section? Yeah. Yeah. What do you feel when that happens? What's going on with you? Painful. Yeah. Yeah. Can we, we, we need every time, I don't know how many times it happens, it feels like two dozen, yeah. uh, almost. <laughs> I mean, it's a big, big shock and dramatic moment in the piece. So we need, we need the torment, we need to feel the torment that, that you're going through in, in this piece, and the, the pain the anguish and everything else, all of that. And it's when those moments happen, and you know when they're going to happen, uh, what, what it is you're feeling. If you can match up your feelings to that and then allow us to see what, what you need to explore from there. Yeah. We just need that, just to clarify it. I think at the start, I would love you to be stronger. Yeah. I, I love the lyric quality of it, right mm -hmm. at the beginning. I really get pianistic with it. Uh, don't take her into consideration at all. Yeah. Let's, just he let's just hear that lovely piece of music that he wrote there. Can we go right from the start? It's a long piece, so let we yeah. we'll, we'll go from the start and then men maybe break it down in, in different ways. Yeah. And maybe for, for the fact that we're all here together now, uh, do you want to just put us in the picture uh, uh, about the Mignon story? Just so that a little bit of it anyhow, so we know where we are. Yeah. Um. Mignot is a child um, originally from Italy, but um, what's that called? Yeah, uh, kidnapped. Yeah, kick what? Kidnapped. Kidnapped <laughs> um, to Germany. Yeah, she she belongs to a travel group of uh, circus people. Tigoina. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and uh, she feels uh, yeah. The, the one of the main themes is that she is. Uh, taken out of her roots, so she feels this longing for, for um, the place she belongs to, and uh, yeah. And in the first uh, rhyme, uh, she talks uh, about the beautiness uh, uh, of Italy and all the memories she has. Oh, that's interesting, this background, because this gives you an idea of the, the power of what you're playing there and the strength of her emotion which we know is, is, is very powerful. I mean, if you, if you were to take anybody from here out of Leeds and make them live in Manchester, for God's sake, <laughs> it would be, it would be s similarly hurtful, you know. Um, it's, you know, so it, you've got to brace these things in terms that one understands. Yeah. Uh, so there we are. So uh, try not to think of it in that way any longer. <laughs> Dismiss that idea and we'll move on. <laughs> but let's take it from the top and, 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 and really go to town with it. Uh, then we'll have to, as we talked about this morning, accommodating the voice when that, that's necessary. But I think there are those hugely dramatic moments where there's not exactly um, Tsugoyna dancing going on, but there's big emotion there. I think that comes through. And you provide, uh, Lucas, as much of that as, as does the poetry. Energetic, with some, but just apply a little more energy to the text there. Kennst du das Land, wo die Zitronen blühen? Here, after this, I, I need to hear more of in dunklen Laub. Yeah. It just needs to fill this place 
with a, a bit more sparkle of consonants and everything else. I just need to hear more of it. Yeah. It won't destroy your feelings. It's fine. It, what you do will be fine. But it, we, you just need to communicate it a little bit more yeah. for people listening. Yeah. Right on, Kens du das Land. That was lovely. Thanks very much. But speak the words a little more loudly. Ein sanfter Wind, and a little more clearly. Yeah. Then we then we get the message more. It's all right for you, to, knowing what you're going to say in a moment's time, to say that I'm going to be saying, Ein sanfter Wind. We need to know that. Ein sanfter Wind. Yeah. So in, you've always got to be thinking about the person that's sitting there, or even further away. When you hit the big time and you're in the big halls, they're going to be further away than that. But they need to hear these words. Ein sanfter Wind. It, it doesn't disturb, it doesn't hurt the ears to, to hear it at that volume. I could sing it even louder than that if I want to. Ein sanfter Wind. Ein sanfter Wind. That's what acoustics do. You can... Um, enunciate very, very clearly, and that message will go across. Yeah. Or you can use the volume, the actual energy of the volume of the sound, level of that sound, to get it across there. But also by just pr the projection of the voice. You learn, whether it's the spoken word or the song word, how to project to that far reach. And see if you can crack those windows. <laughs> Don't. Don't. <laughs> So having sung Die Lorbeer steht, uh, that Hans Sachs sings about so much, Die Lorbeer steht, something happens in you that causes that to happen, which is you. Already. Yeah, already. already. Okay. Lorbeer steht. Body. But you're feeling that. It comes, that's, uh, he's representing what you feel. Yeah. So you must know that you have to feel that at that moment, and then he plays that. Perfect. But that's, what, that's yeah. how it happens. Good. Um, the same thing. <laughs> I don't think it helps that her rhythm gets a little just a wee bit rocky. So can we make sure that Oh mein 
make sure that that bar is as volt voltage so that we get the there's another one coming up as well which I'd like you to but get this one right first yep okay so from dahin 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 yep And just picture that house and the rooms and the favorite table, chairs, whatever it might be, but all of the memories of that house that you're now recalling. Okay, just, just have that in mind. Yeah. More so. Okay. It has to be very strong with you in order that we read the story and get the message. Do you remember? S say the words for me. Kens du das Haus? Now say it as though you know what it means and it means something to you. Okay. Okay. Uh, ja. Kennst du das Haus auf Säulen ruht sein Dach? Es glänzt der Saal, es schimmert das Gemach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's better. That's better. So when you when you do sing that, let's have that picture in mind. Do you have a house, that, a, a favorite family house that you can recall, remember? Of course. Is, yeah, this yeah. A, is there somewhere you love, somewhere that's special to you? Yeah. That's where you go. Yeah. That's the place you have to go, until you you know buy your place in Mallorca or wh wherever it is, and then <laughs> and you have your animals. Yeah. Then you can then you can do it. Then you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Then you can have your own place, but for now, it's th whatever that house is. That's it. It's that feeling. It's it's, it's it, what, what we what we do is we say, how do I feel about that? And uh, you go back to your a birthplace, a favorite school, or no, not school, perhaps, but uh, anyhow, so, uh, but a birthplace, somewhere that you know where there are families, where there's a warmth, where there's an embrace of family. Everything. You go there as an artist, as a singer. And you think, what was that like? What was that? How can I represent that feeling? Can I do that house? And then it's not phony. It's not false. It's not artifice. It's genuine. Yeah. It's the real feeling. It's what you feel because it's you've experienced that. Yeah. And that's what you need to yeah. let, let us know about. Yeah. Let's do that very place. Just take us into there, Lucas, can you? So we're down the road, coming up to the house. Between, between having sung um, brrr, 
Uh, where are we? Kennst du das Haus? Als Säulen ruht sein Dach, es glänzt der Saal, es schimmert das Gemach. Und Marmorbilder stehen und sein mich an. Ja, was, hat, wenn, was hat man dir mal, mal sein Was Arme? hat man das mal mit dir, das arme Kind ge, ge, getan? Und <lacht> And then you've got just that moment of thinking, before that pain comes out again. So yeah. you, that ha, it has to lead us into, into there. So the, the questioning, the questions you ask are painful leading up to that yeah. response that you get there. That, and that response is your feeling, is you. Is you. So you have to be and meet that point when we get there. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's take it from Und Marmor Bilde. Yeah. <laughs> something for me can you give me a glottal on armes kind du armes du? kind armes yeah. Yeah, yeah because i think that will actually um, prompt this emotion yeah it, it when it is a clue to us as to how deeply you're feeling here is you know and the pain that you're feeling at that moment so if you give me that that will that will help enormously i think yeah. let's just go into that can we yeah. <laughs> it out so that we get Wolf does this all the time he, um, he he writes wonderful syncopations so that you're only you know that offbeat ever we need to hear that really really very distinctly Kens do es so that we really know that you're off the beat there and, and, and there's, there's a and similarly there's a there's a indication of a struggle yeah. an internal struggle for yourself as a result of that that's what it represents yeah that's that struggle uh, can you give us the belief uh, the 98 there uh, yeah. uh, lucas would you yeah. no no that's it's, uh, uh, that's it's the one sorry the more painful one yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a conductor. Yeah. All right. Give, give, give me the um, the bar into there. So it's it's uh, the believed. Uh -huh. B. that Simon Rattle is there all the time doing that in front of you. Not me, but somebody that can do it. And that's the anguish that I feel at that moment. Yeah. That you're feeling. Yeah. And that we should feel that you're feeling. Similarly, that one could be stronger. It's ruhiger, he marks it, but I won't. Kennst du es wohl? So ruhiger, but nevertheless, it's still that marked rhythm. Kennst du es wohl? Very, very 
distinct. And, you know, for anybody that knows Mignon and knows Kent Studas Land, is looking for these moments. They've got to be right. Yeah. They've got to be right. Can you give me the, uh, the second beliebt? Yeah. <laughs> We're talking now about something really big around yeah. the, the, the mountains and everything else. So it's it's a bigger pick. Can you do this? Yeah. Uh, take that in. I mean, if I'm talking about the, the house I like, uh, I mean, this is not to do with this song. This is to do with things in general. But if I'm talking about the house I like, it's there. I like the, 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 the roof is very nice. It's really lovely. And the furniture and the chairs, all of that's very lovely. But yeah. now I'm dealing with mountains. Yeah. yeah. And it, it, it has to be a bigger picture. Yeah. We can't just make little bags yeah, here. Yeah, because I imagine that I cannot see the, my the, way the to go home. And that's, uh, yeah, but yeah, I think it's better. So don't see yeah. a way to go home, but know <laughs> that it's through those. And they're very yeah. intimidating up there, rather than through the yeah. pa passageways through your house. We're now in, the, in, a, uh, in a mountainous landscape, where, and it, it needs to be more intimidating. Yeah. Yeah, it gets Big. bigger. Yeah, yeah. Can you do that? Okay? Yeah. Just going into that? Yeah. We're going to get there. <laughs> Over the mountains. Um, just the bar before, I think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We're going to stop now because uh, because it's time, but also because I want you to go away and spend the next 25 years of your life getting rhythmical. <laughs> ba, 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 da. He will thank you for it. Sorry, yeah. Otherwise, he'll sack you. Uh, but it's it's absolutely yeah. It, yeah. It's really really uh, important. Once he's given you this, um, and then he comes back with yeah, leidenschaftlich. What is leidenschaftlich? Tell, tell them what it means. Oh, what, what passionate. Really passionate, leidenschaftlich. It's very, very passionate. And so involved. You can beat it out yourself. Can so involved. Can so es wohl. And that's part of that same group, remember. But, um, Bottom. Dee dee. Ah. Keep it right on that. Yeah. That's your job. <laughs> All right. We'll call it a day there. But it's a, it's a terrific song. There's so much of it is very good. Just a long, long, long journey. And we've just met the mountains. Mm -hmm. 
we'll do the rest of it another time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Hello. Hello. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Derry, what are you going to sing? Can I call you Derry? Is yes. that all right? Derry is absolutely fine. I have a selection of songs from Newton by the schoolmaster. Oh, right. Which was a wonderful gift to his beloved. And the first. Farising, you're going to do? Yes. Right. Love you. Finally, over to you. Basically, Robert Schumann himself, and to, to simplify, it's kind of giving the middle finger to Clara's father, <laughs> either way. But yes, now I've got my beloved, and can't do anything about it really. And together, you can't we're destroy. You can't destroy this. Out on the on the horse into the distance and on the route led by the gods. Well, that, well, that's uh, that's a very different description from any other that I've ever heard. But it's uh, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll I'll take it. Uh, can you give me more rhythm? Dum ba dum be be dim be be dee. Um, not that it's militaristic or martial or anything like that, but I think it's wonderful that it has. It, it's an indication of energy and, and and picks up on everything that you've just described in this relationship. Of we know that the two of them coming together wasn't wasn't an easy thing, yeah. uh, and it wasn't even they're, they're going apart either. But that's another story. Uh, so give me more rhythm initially. Okay. Likewise, your, uh, for, for your playing too, I think. Bum, 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 bum. It's very typically uh, a Schumann writing, uh, uh, very typical of Schumann's writing, and uh, I think it just needs bringing out. piano but yeah, uh, okay. you still got the support okay. for singing for us yeah. otherwise you get into that difficulty yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, 
Über meine Mütze nur, ich sterbe. Gib uns das last phrase of the, the first part, can you? Über meine Mütze. Just sing über meine Mütze. Über meine Mütze nur, ich sterbe. Ihr habt euch die Gestirne gesetzt. Als Reiter zu Land und See, damit er euch daran ergötzt, stets blicken in die Höhe. Stars are out there. I'm out with the stars. Yeah, that's, uh, I oh, should oh. be, but I don't think I was. No, no. Uh, it, it, you could enjoy it more. Yeah. That's the truth of it. Yeah. Let's. Uh, are we going to progress through this uh, through Milton? Oh, okay, yeah, let's 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 move on into mm -hmm. where. Was will the Einz 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 It is. It is. Uh, where, or do you want to go somewhere else? Oh no, no. Just was will the Einz Let's fine. let's let's go there. Mm. See what mood we ha we're in here. Was will die einsame Träne? Sie trübt mir ja den Blick. Sie blieb aus alten Zeiten. Let's uh, let's try and join this together. It's it's just all. I'd like to feel there was more of a line through it. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I want you to sing. I want to think. There's a feel that there's a thought mm -hmm. that connects all of these things together. I mean, at the moment yeah. you just seem to be ticking off a line as it goes by. Mm -hmm. I did that one. I did that one, and that one. Yeah. Now let's join the whole lot together okay. and make, make sense of it, because it's just a wee bit unconnected at the moment. Mm -hmm. Is this making sense to you? It, what it I is, say? absolutely. Was will die einsame Träne? It's not particularly high, mm -hmm. you know, y y any 
uh, any congregation in a church presented with this song would have no difficulty in singing it. Mm -hmm. It's like singing the old hundreds or something. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's all very, uh, very easy. So mm -hmm. wallow in it, just okay. sing it. No great technical difficulties, mm -hmm. just sing it. Was will the einsame Tränen? Sie trübt mir ja den Blick. Sie blieb I'd lo I'd love to feel, Derry, that, that, that when, when st sorry to stop you, it's not, not really uh, a terrible problem. Sie trübt, sie trübt mir ja den Blick. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know it's only a crotchet there, mm -hmm. but I'd love to feel that it was then going on to fill in the rest of that bar, which is filled with rest, 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 and then you join again. But okay. I'd love to feel that bar was filled with your thought going through mm -hmm. to the beginning of the next okay. phrase, rather than it Sorry, having... Sorry, I was looking at the word as a T, kind of just dropping blick. I'm blick. Mm -hmm. It can, but let it drop over a longer period okay. of time, mm -hmm. so that it's not gone, yeah. and now we're thinking... Yeah. <laughs> What's the next phrase? Oh, there it is. Mm. Yeah. So that it's filled in with the sense and the thought of where you're going. Okay. Yeah, that's mm. nice. No, good thought. Develop it. Was will die einsame Träne? Was will die einsame Träne? Sie trübt mir ja den Blick. Sie blieb Zeiten in meinem Auge zurück. Sie hatte viel leuchtende Schwestern, sie alle zerflossen sind mit meinen Qualen und Freuden. Zerflossen in Acht und Wind. Can we just, that, that's nice, this is getting better. Uh, mit meinem Qualen und Freuden. You know, it, uh, it crops up in Heiner as well, zerflossen, uh, like Schaum. Uh -huh. You know, it's, uh, can we give a lighter, airier quality to that particular word? Yeah. Zerflossen in Nacht und Wind. Mm -hmm. And okay. gone. Uh, so there is this, you can illustrate that with the quality of the voice that you use. Mm -hmm. uh, can we pick it up from uh, Sie hatte viel leuchtenden Schwestern? Mm -hmm. Sie hatte viel leuchtenden? What do we mean by that? We mean that, there are, there's, that there's that tear, there were other tears mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Sie hatte viel leuchtenden? Sie hatte viel leuchtende Schwestern. Alle zerflossen sind mit meinen Qualen und Freuden zerflossen in Acht und Wind. How do you sing Nacht? I'm not sure how you sing Nacht. Zerflossen in Nacht und Wind. Can you join it to yeah, over in Nacht? Over, make too artsy by coming off of it too soon. Perhaps. Oh, we're know. all being too artsy. Don't be artsy. We don't need artsy around <laughs> here. We're singers. Mit meinem Kavalen und Freuden zerflossen in Nacht und Wind. I mean, I just throw it out there, you know. Okay. But I would certainly use in to, to connect to the word and then throw it away, mm -hmm. you okay. know, it's, it's rather like, I don't know what it's like, it's like coming at the end of a slide, you know, mm -hmm. and it does that. Zerflossen in Nacht und And then you wait for that, that to happen. Zerflossen in Nacht und Because you have, you know, that's what we do, we play with acoustics, mm -hmm. and that's what happens with it. Zerf just that, that very phrase, Zerflossen in Nacht. Zerflossen in Acht und Wind. You're dwelling too much on yeah. in. Zerflossen in Nacht und Wind. Zerflossen in Nacht und Wind. Bleib. Wind sind auch zerflossen, die blauen Sterne. Und 
sorry, <laughs> in her heart. In heart. You know, I, uh, pick it up from a uh, Dibla. Um, uh, no, I pick it up from uh, the navel. The navel. Can you represent navel in, in how would you sing navel? So that, you know, it's, it's you know, when you're t telling a story to a child, mm. you don't say, um, there's a story about three bears. Daddy bear, mama bear, and little bear. You don't do that, do you? No. no. You say, this is a story <laughs> about three bears, like. <laughs> There's a daddy bear and a mummy bear and a little tiny bear, like. <laughs> and that's what you have to do. Not in Geordie, though. <laughs> the navel. That's what I'm, that, that was why the purpose of this whole illustration. <laughs> the navel. Yeah. You know what navel is, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The nebel singt auf zerflossen, die blauen Sternlein, die mir ihre Freuden und Kollen gelächelt ins Herz hinein. Ach, meine Liebe selber, zerfloss ihr ein Gelb. There's a change there, isn't there? Yeah. Ach, meine Liebe, mm. ach, meine Liebe selber. Mm. I, I, let's just find a different color. You've gone through the, uh, the pain and the hurt of all of that, you know. What was it there? Uh, the Qualen uh, geschaltet das Herz hinein. Ach, meine Liebe. Yeah, just find something, an afterthought, a further thought, you know, different from what you've just come up with. Um, pick it up from die, uh, die mir jene Freuden und Qualen. Die mir jene Freuden und Qualen gelächelt ins Herz hinein. Liebe. Ach, meine Liebe selber, zerfloss ihr ein den Hauch, du alte, einsame Tränen, zerfließe jetzt unter Auch. And when you speak about du alte einsame Träne, um, that's the children are back in the, in the hall here. Du alte einsame Träne. You know, so that they can feel that. Um, I, I, I did, not far from here, in, in, in um, Halifax, a lot of years ago, I worked with a lot of children in different schools. And there was... Uh, there was a, a group of school children, they were about eight or nine. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm trying to illustrate, give you an example of what I'm talking about. And I, I sa they sang for me, uh, which was lovely. And, uh, and then they wanted me to sing for them, which was less lovely. Uh, but I did sing for them. I sang Billy Budd's soliloquy. I didn't know what to do. I chose that, and I had no idea why. It took about 10 minutes of gory details of a man about to be hanged for these eight and nine year olds. <laughs> uh, so uh, that was you know, an odd choice. But I, I looked at 50 children, or however many there were, absolutely wrapped their attention entirely on me. And it was simply because I was able to, uh, nothing special, I just was able to talk to them through, the, through this particular aria. And uh, it was difficult because it's a, about a man who's going to be hanged and everything else. But they've got the message. They really got the message. And that's what we're dealing with now. They're not children, I know. But you have to get, you know, feel that moment of, oh, die einsame Träne, die Liebe. Oh, die Liebe, das ist etwas ganz Besonderes. Und, und diese einsame Träne. And they'll see when you represent mm -hmm. these things. An audience, though they may not understand every word or the 
or the suggestion and the meaning of every phrase, they will know the mood, they mm. will understand the context that you're using. Mm -hmm. And that's what we try to communicate. Okay. When I went back three weeks later or four weeks later when it was to see these children, I said, what should we do today? They said, tell us more about Billy Budd. <laughs> <laughs> so they wanted more. Mm. Nobody told them it was a modern opera by Benjamin Britten or anything like that. They just wanted more of it. Yeah. That was very interesting, I thought. Let's pick it up from, let's go back to Ach meine Liebe uh, Zelbe. Can we pick it up from there? Just that bar, please. Ach meine Liebe Zelbe. Ach meine Liebe Zelbe. Ach meine Liebe Zelbe. Zerflosser Derry, Derry, it's far too difficult for you. Why is it, why? Just mm. calm down. Mm. Oh, and, uh, pretend you're just singing a lullaby for okay. a child. Okay. Oh, and, uh, mm. Make it simple for yourself. Zerflossi, zerflossi. Zerflossi, sure we hear you. Don't you be frightened of it either. Bada bom. Bom. mustn't be frightened of it either. It all has to be heard. It's, it's, that, it's child's play. Good night, children. Uh, uh, it's just as simple as that. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, good choice because, I mean, there's not, as I say, nothing hugely demanding for you there. Mm. And, you know, it's good that we're not having to sing the Schöne uh, Magalona or the Wesendonk Leader or whatever it might be every mm. night of the week or huge Mahler songs to come across something that is it is like this it's like singing one lullaby after another mm -hmm. I mean, there are emotions in there of course but they're they're withheld to a very great degree not all the time but it and it's uh, it's helpful for us as singers sometimes to have those things i think i want to leave it there for today great all right yeah thank you so much not at all that was lovely thank you great pleasure Thank you. Right. Oh, uh, Laura. Oh, there she is. That's her. <laughs> Thank you. Three songs are all single. And you must be David. Yes. Okay. Who liked the accompaniment to the um, Graziana? Hello. How are you? Great, thank you. Good. You went very well earlier. Yeah? Uh, no, I was oh, okay. Oh, well you were okay. No, somebody Someone, was. Yeah. Someone else was. What? Of course. Oh, I thought you had a program. Uh, uh, forgive me. What? You have a choice. <gasps> Heavens, what's your choice going to be? Would do you I have a choice? Or do you, you have a choice. I have a choice. You um, have a choice. Well, in that case, we'd love to perform to you... Um, uh, both setting of Goethe's Die Bekerbte, um, which is a poem where a woman is walking through the forest at sunset and she hears this beautiful flute song 
um, in the woods and she finds the person playing it and um, they kiss and they make love and she begs him to keep playing and all the while she can hear this melody in her head and then after the event she sort of is forever obsessed and kind of broken by it because she can never get that song out of her head that memory and even though it fades over time it's still com she's still completely besotted with it thank you excellent Well, the song is what you described on the packet, <laughs> but I'm not sure what came out. <laughs> uh, indeed, uh, ex you know the way you described it. Tell me again how you described this. I'm sorry, what do you mean? Like but, but, but what the overall picture of the song, the overall uh, progress of the song. Um, a woman walks through the forest. She, she finds this man playing the flute. Mm -hmm. um, Pleasant? Sorry? Pleasant? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, it's very odd, I think. Capturing, it uh, captures yeah, your attention. Quite, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, interesting, I think, about uh -huh, it. Uh -huh. um, but I think the experience is pleasant for her. Yeah, um, all of the time? I think in like a kind of forbidden way, yes. But I think there's a sort of, I don't, a slight sinister thing that I hear from the music mm. and stuff like that. Of kind of, yeah, there has to be a change, that's what I'm, that's what I'm mm. getting at. 
There has to be a point where you're drawn to it, and then a point when you think, I don't know about you about this. <laughs> so you need a contrast there, and right. I didn't get the contrast. Mm -hmm. uh, and the contrast comes, uh, where, where does the contrast come? When, when you have, um, it's on page 24. Yeah. David, give me just just give me those, uh, the same system of uh, twenty-four. Da, 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 da. We've had la 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 la. Empty bar. This is something. Ah. Then you say something different. Mm -hmm. saying there, Laura? Um, my peace is lost, my yes, joy yes. is thrown away. It's gone. Mm. So we, it, it's gone from where? Because <laughs> that's basically the mood that we had prior to this, so I need to see that change. I need mm -hmm. to feel and hear that change at that moment. Before that, I need to, uh, we, we need, but, but oh, that's, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice, that's, that's, that's less than nice. <laughs> now it's gone. Mm -hmm. we, need, we need that pr procession to happen. So can, let, let's do it from the top and see if we can find those contrasts and pictures okay. and what have you. What I'm getting at the moment is... Uh, I'm sorry for being so rude, <laughs> but we need you to live this song through. Okay. I need to see that uh, that description that you gave of going into the woods and somebody starts playing a flute and you think, oh, that's nice. What is that? <laughs> I, need, I need that curiosity has to be there. Okay. And then so, so many, of the, not, I'm not going to say, I'm not, not so many. What I do hear is that you get the end of a phrase sometimes. We had this this morning as well. Just sing to the end of the phrase. There, should, there are notes that are given there that are being shortened. I don't want to hear short ends to phrases. I want to hear them filled for you to go right through to the end. Uh, he wrote these things. They wrote these things for particular reasons. They want you to fill that out and then go on to the next statement, the next development of your emotion, whatever it might be. It happened on... Um, Right, right on the end of the first, first page, uh, when you go, Das ist von dem Felsenklang. I want you to go right through there. The job isn't over. But it needs, it needs for you, for all of you, to have strong ideas about what the poetry is doing and what the uh, composer intends that the poetry should do and what his line is, what, or her line is, and what, what, what has been writ written. Um, bei dem Glanz der Abendworte ging ich still dem Wald entlang, in, den Wald entlang. It's long. He written you something long there, and I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Let's do it the right way this time. And let's see that mad um, Jimmy Galway in the woods enticing you along with his, with his pipe piping. Pop, pop, pop. Leicht befriedigt. David, try something for me, would you? Do it faster. Okay. Not, 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 you know, hugely so. Yeah. Just a little bit more light. Just a, a little bit more nymph-like. Pop. shouldn't be going into the woods, but I'm going into the woods, and, and it's the, the Nacht and Lang. 
and already you're going along that path. Mm -hmm. The path hasn't stopped there, it's going onwards. And I feel that now, if you give me that. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. And then uh, don't be too. Yeah. I know he wrote one, two, three, one, yeah, two, three. So. Or one, what, what did he write? It's a three eight. Ba, ba, yeah. Ba. Yeah. Ma make that up. Right, okay. Be that yeah. mad man in the woods doing something with a flute. Yeah. But not ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. That's what singers do. <laughs> Instrumentalists are more inventive than that. <laughs> <laughs> takes you into that development of the phrase. Mm -hmm. But you need that, that length of note in order that you can get there. If you, if you shortchange us, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't come organically. I hesitate to use that word. But it doesn't come as easily to you afterwards. Yeah. If you've given us that longer note, para, you can spring from it. Mm -hmm. That's why it's there. Okay. Uh, so if you can give me your a tempo. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> time there. Right, I'm okay. sorry to stop you. It was lovely. Um, uh, that's developing and I'm, I'm, I'm with you and you know it's all happening. But I'll just give it a little bit because of the change that's happening. Yeah. Set it up a little more. Uh, give me the last the last uh, before they get to the Verhalten. Uh, la 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 Where are we? Are we at the top of the top of the page there somewhere. Yeah. Just after the high one. Can we pick it up from there again? I like the break. That was lovely. We, we got into a, you know, it gave us time to think, uh, prepare ourselves for a change of mood. So give us that change of mood there, David, would you? From where, sorry? The yeah. Dolce. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah. That's, where, that's where we are. Okay? But, but I'm, the reason I want to do it, there are things that happen in mm. the next two or three bars. <laughs> I just need you to reflect that. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. I can say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, say the words. Unter zog mich zu sich nieder. Unter zog mich zu sich nieder. 
küsste mich. That's what I want to get to. Küsste mich so hot, so süß. We need, something happens there. We need, and we need to see that something happens there. Yeah. I always remember Gerard Suzy saying, saying to a, a lovely soprano, no longer with us for many a long year, Annalise Silva, you understand what he means by kiss me? Oh, yes. <laughs> so I've just asked you that question. I need you to say, oh, yes. <laughs> Und der Zug? Und der Zug wird so sich nieder, kisst mich so hart, so süß. Und ich sagte, And he said, blow on, blow on, or kiss me more, whatever it might be, but blase wieder. I think you can really enter into this. That's how far you need to go okay. that gives you the right to say, oh, I'm worried about this now. I've gone <laughs> too far. Yeah. Uh, we don't need to go all the way, but I, I, actually we do. Because I want you to have kissed me so hot, so hot, so I think you could bring that S in early. Küste mich so hot, so süß. I know it's not written in that way, but I think mm. it's what we do. It's why I said to him, stop being a, um, uh, like a singer and be a interpret something. So the so süß, I think, needs that S to come in a wee bit earlier. Anticipate it. Und er zog mich zu sich nieder. Und er zog mich zu sich nieder. I'm disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> that's what comes next. My is, uh, is um, uh, That's fine. Let, let's go on. G give us your little sushi spiel, uh, the, 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 can you? Ba -ba -ba. Yep. to just play, you know we're just playing now uh, you've, you've, you've got this wonderful day only ich höre mich vor meinen Ohren immer nur den den alten immer nur den alten Ton Make a 
Brig. Mm. It's not there, I know, but you can. Mm -hmm. So it, it just, it, it, I mean, it can say all sorts. It can say, la 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 might, what might have been or whatever, you know, but mm. it, it, you can express so much and just take that time off. So much is said now. What we're reading to it is another story. Yeah. <laughs> but what you mean by it, that's as long as you know. Mm -hmm. But it's just a suggestion. It, it's there for you to mm -hmm. interpret in whichever way you want. It might be simpler than that. I don't know. It's just a, just a thought. Yeah. But I think uh, go with the blase, by, uh, blase vida or whatever it might be. I, I think there's just something abandoned about that. You know, you oh, I just love this, love this, love this. And then when that chord comes in, ba 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 is a wake-up call. Mm -hmm. I'm always no longer with me. I'm no longer wooey. I think you can allow yourself to play with that rather more. I mean, just explore it. The, the, you know, the song on itself is just that. that. It's a walk into the woods, a man plays a flute, you walk out of the woods, and you sing la-la-la every now and then. <laughs> I think it's a bit more than that. And uh, there's enough evidence there that, that, you know, that, that suggests that you can play with it. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, let's uh, think about that. How are we doing? We're okay. Um, can we move on? Mm -hmm. You've got a piece of Frank Bridge here. Yes. Can we right. look at that? Yes. Because when we, we were talking about Frank Bridge this morning, and there's a volume of songs that is really rather lovely. I mentioned, you know, we, we, we did talk about Frank Bridge this morning, yes. And uh, this is one of the other songs in that particular volume, and it's very, very lovely. Well, it was Felicitas that had it this morning, wasn't it? The uh, adoration. Here's another. Do you know this one? Come to me in my dreams. Will you tell us about it? You just um, the title's enough, really. Yeah, it's, it's, it was it's what it says on the tin, really. Um, <laughs> uh, it's um, a song where somebody effectively remotely um, begs to see someone in their dreams, and so that happy experience will sort of get them through the next day because they can't meet in reality. Frank Bridge, the composer, otherwise known as Frank Bridge, the teacher of Benjamin Britten. That's all he's known as, really, but it, it's rather more than that. The sea is worth listening to. Thank you. 
that song. I think it's, it's absolutely beautiful. That man up at the top of the gallery, he would like it too, <laughs> if only he could hear it. <laughs> Come on, sing it. And you, when you've got this gift of five, six, seven bars, whatever it is, swing it, man, swing it. Right. Yep. Uh, give us a go. Go on. Mm. <laughs> Piano market. Yeah. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Play it. to sing this song to whomsoever you're singing. Sorry? Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> very clever, very clever. <laughs> I like the way you did that. <laughs> are you happy to sing this song to whomsoever you are singing it? Yeah. Right. I think so. <laughs> Let me see that, can okay. you? Okay. Come to me in my dreams. You know, so that there's a real gl glow on your face and it will show back there even though you can't hear me. Too <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. an opportunity to get into that phrase. Mm -hmm. All right?
Toxic tenuto there. Mm -hmm. Use it. Yep. Come to me in my dreams just to get you over the hill. <laughs> right on it. So that we know you're intending to make it a long, 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 long note. <laughs> Not one that finishes after one bar, but after two. Mm -hmm. That was so, so much better. Okay. It just, you know, it's just a question of turning on the switch. <laughs> uh, and uh, it li lights it. Lovely strength from you too, Dave. Right, Thank right, you very much. Right. Uh, uh, I wish we had to, have we got a couple? Yeah, uh, a couple more things. couple more minutes. I like that very much, but there's a song here called The Shy Geordie. <laughs> I've no idea who that might be. <laughs> Can we have a look at it? Sure. I've no idea what it is. Where's it from? So it's by a composer called Buxton All. Um, oh, is it? Is it? Oh, yeah, right. well... Um, he who had the Newcastle Choir? Uh, Year, years and years and years and years and years and years ago. He's Scottish um, and he uh, ended up prefer being a professor in Guildhall, I think. Um, and his music's actually performed quite a bit in the RCS in Scotland, but um, I haven't heard it much down here, so I thought I would bring it down. <laughs> well, it belongs somewhere in between the two. <laughs> <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's a Scots song, is it? It is, actually. It yeah, is. It's um, Songs um, of a Childhood uh, by right. uh, Cruikshank, I think it's her name. Yeah, Helen yeah, Cruikshank. yeah. And, Helen um, Cruikshank, yeah. Yeah, they're all based around... Um, where she, where she grew up, uh, sort yeah. of Angus area. Well, I've nabbed it for Geordies. <laughs> for Geordies everywhere. All right. Mm. Da -da.
That's lovely. I like that very much. Tom's been up to no good here. <laughs> uh, um, the only thing I wanted to say up the da 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 on page 19. And he's quiet ways up the da da up ba da 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 da. I think just one of them. Um, if it was just short, rather than up <laughs> and beautifully legato, yeah. give it give it a bit of scotch, scotch snap. Mm -hmm. Is all I suggest. Let's have a cup of tea. <laughs> That's really yeah. lovely. Yeah. It's a mixture of um, nationalities you are, isn't it? Yes, yes. Keris McAllister. Well, I, yes, I'm Irish. Oh. I've, got, I've got a Welsh name. You've got a Welsh name and a Scots uh, Lassie, McAllister. Yeah. <laughs> but you're Irish. Triple Celt. Oh, there we are. No wonder we left Brexit. <laughs> right. Do you, uh, Keris, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us what you're going to do? Yes, um, I'm With music Kevin's stolen from the Royal Academy of Music, I see. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Andre Bertoncini, my accompanist from Brazil, and we're going to be doing Der Genesna and die Hoffnung. Can you not hear us at the back? Is there a problem there? <laughs> Der Genesna and die Hoffnung <laughs> of Hugo Wolf. Uh, and this is uh, the, the young man here is is, is Andre Bertoncini from Brazil. He just arrived this morning, and, uh, and uh, we're going to have some... Keris is going to sing us some Hugo Wolf, yet again. <laughs> okay. Right? Yes. Very good.
that, that very last phrase, well handled, but try to, the, the very last note that you're seeing, R, mm -hmm. stay on the vowel longer, that's all. Okay. I mean, you, you were there, yeah. you just started to close it, and then you were sort of left high and dry, yeah. still, <laughs> with still some way to go at that yeah. tempo. Um, don't, don't interfere. You're there, leave it alone. Um, I, I think, I mean, he marks it langsam und schwer, mm -hmm. and I think you could afford just to have a wee bit more movement initially. Okay. It's, it's difficult to hold together if it's as slow as that. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, this, this song is Die Genesen an der Hoffnung, and I love the translation into the English title of The Convalescent's Ode to Hope. <laughs> You couldn't call that poetic, could you? Really, it's it's a little a little odd. I mean, it's probably it, it covers the, the um, it, it does what it says, but it's uh, not elegant. There we are. Uh, let's let's just look at that very opening, can we? There are one or two um, accidentals and things and intervals along the way that you need to look at. Mm -hmm. um, pay a bit more attention to them. What you have got right, I think, it, and understand is Wolf's use of syncopation. Mm -hmm which is so important, you know, we talk, talked about it a little bit earlier, uh, and it, 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 it has a terrific message for us. Um, Elia, I think it was, it was in your song that we, it, we can't do that land. We, we, we needed that stronger rhythmic sense at times, and it, it's, it's funny, it comes in so many of the songs that one can say that about. Uh, here's another case in point, but there are many. Um, Let's do it bit by bit. It's quite a, quite a chunk to handle. Uh, so can, can we take it from the top? Please, Andre. Verborgen, oh. rather than Verborgen, it, it just dies a yeah. wee bit, that particular word. Mm -hmm. uh, can we pick it up from Hoffnung, dear? Yeah. Thank you, dear. Okay. 
Himmel gib, du viel Getreue. If you could just lean on that a wee bit more, yeah. rather than just letting it go by as <coughs> another phrase. Or uh, uh, even just the, the bar before, perhaps, could you? Yeah. I think you need to start looking at the absolute accuracy of these accidentals. Oh, Fergie! Don't sort of mash up a note in a whole lot of sound okay. and it's not, not having a core to it. Yeah. I need to hear the actual core of that C natural. Da, da, dee, 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 dee. <laughs> Same thing. Sorry. That, yeah. A, a, a G natural there, that one you missed before. Okay. <laughs> Nasty, isn't it? It's much <laughs> easier singing, I don't know, Offenbach or something like that, but uh, <laughs> this is what Wolf does, I'm afraid. Just that bar, on the bar itself. Do me a favor and just give me. Um, let's go back a, a wee bit to uh, this is page five, op uh, Opperbach. Mm -hmm. Ich allen gut. Now I just want to hear just just hear some notes along the way. Livy, are you with me? Andre, rather. I am at last. Sorry. Opferbach. The tempo primo. Opferbach. Du, 
Oh, and yeah. re being really yeah, pernickety. It's, sig it's significantly different. That's why I wanted to hear it. Okay, yeah. yeah. Which is so lovely. Mm -hmm. but it's okay. not if we don't hear it. Okay. Uh, Cliff Steinem? Yeah. Take your time over it. Okay. Don't don't hurry through it. Okay. Yeah. It's it's worth it. I promise you. Mm -hmm. mm. Well done, let's do another. Oh, okay. How are we doing? Fine. Very good. Very good. Uh, how about um, Nimazatha Liebe? Yes. Uh, is that all right? Yeah. What, what's it, what else have we got? Nimazatha Liebe. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that's good. It says it's in 4-8, sehr messig. Let's forget that it's in 4-8 and just tell us a story. Okay. And you fit in. Okay. Team, yeah. Uh, 
I think you're just rushing through. The, the, the great thing about this song, if there is a great thing about it, is it, it just tells us a story. If it occurs to you to say something at that moment, say it at that moment. Okay. Let us wait if it occurs to you later. Mm -hmm. uh, it just stretches, the, pulls the bars around. And, and not very much. I'm not talking about taking huge liberties, just small ones, okay. every now and then. Yeah. We'll find out where those places are. <laughs> I think you can exaggerate more. Um, if, if, if just at the start there, Andre. Damn! I know a, a piano doesn't do that, but give us a big accent on that first one. Bam! If you could play that Harrison Harrison organ, you could do a swelled pedal on it, but we can't do that. So it's bam, bam. Exaggerate. That's where, that's where I mean, so ist die Lieb, so ist die Lieb, mit Küssen nicht zu spielen. Oh, yeah, so ist die Lieb, so ist die Lieb, mit Küssen nicht zu spielen. Er ist still und will ein See mit eitel Wasser Und er, 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 wer ist der Tor und will ein Sieb, ein Sieb mit Eitelwasser füllen? Okay. Uh, so he just give the words some quality, yeah. you know, so that we know exactly who, who would fill that with, with, with yeah, water. Yeah. Mit Sieb mit, mit Wasser füllen. Und schöpfst du an den Tausend? Yeah. Take your time over it again. Mm -hmm. um, wer ist der Tor? Take your time. Carries here use that that uh, crescendo diminuendo that he gives you. It's to Rick Halton, which you're doing very well, but uh, this is what Volk does. He gives you these exaggerated moments. Yeah. It's as though you're half drunk. <laughs> oh, totally drunk, not you. Der Ton und Willen sieht mit Eitel. Und mit Eitel und Willen ein Sieb. You've got a, put a comma in there. Will ein Sieb mit Eitel was erfüllen und schöpfst du an die tausend Jahre. Und these words are so, this, there's an onomatopoeia almost about them. Und schöpfst du eine Kraft und uh, uh, tausend Jahre und küssen ewig, ewig. E that second ewig, I think, has a real glottal on it. Und er küsst es ewig, ewig, gar, so that we get a, a, a yearning or a, uh, an, a, a stomach egg on it, <laughs> if you like. Yeah. Uh, und schöpfst du an die tausend Jahre? An die tausend Jahre. Und schöpfst du an die tausend Jahre und küsst es ewig, ewig gar und tust in mich so wenig. Can I hear du tust me here? Tust. Yeah. Do the same thing again. Und schöpfst du? Und schöpfst du an die tausend Jahre und küsst ewig, ewig da und tust in mich zu finden. Die Liebe, so, die Liebe. What, what happens here is you, you've said those f first statements and the, the bitterness or whatever qualities that come out of how you feel about the leap, uh, about love, yeah. uh, uh, one thing. Now, you go further with the deep leap, the leap, at alle Stunden, then take yeah. it further. Yeah. This, this thi you're, you're, you're warming to your theme here. Yeah, yeah. Let's just get in, uh, the couple of bars into there, can we? Oh, yeah. 
Take your time over there. He marks zart. Okay. In fact, in order to be zart, it just needs it needs a little more tenderness over the phrase rather than rushing through it. Okay. Yeah. And the other thing is, it's a tiny point, but there's a, there are two. I'll show you. Just to make life easy. You see those two equal quavers there? Yeah. Use them. Okay. Rather than dotting them, which is what you're doing at the moment. Die lieb, die lieb hat alle Stunden nur wunderlich gelöst und wir bissen uns die. So that we get two equal notes rather than a snatched one, okay. which takes away from yeah. what you're trying to do. Die lieb, die lieb. Again, a new thought. Das wird, dass wir uns heute küssen. Das Mädchen hielt ihn gut. And then you, you set off on a, a further theme, a further development. Yeah. I still didn't get, didn't get those two equal quavers, okay. but I'm not going to stop you now. <laughs> we'll move on. Mm -hmm. um, das Mädchen, the, the bar of mba, 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 mba. Das Mädchen leid in Boten, There's a retard, a retardando uh, over that A flat in that bar. You can you can afford to take time over it, really yeah. stretch it. Yeah. Can I suggest that? Oh, I right or no that. Yeah. Okay. Das Mädchen hielt ihn. Das Mädchen leid in Boden. registered with us. Anders war Herr Salomo, der Weise nicht geliebt. Und anders war Herr Salomo, der Weise nicht verliebt. <laughs> or whichever you want to do. There's loads to do in that song. Yeah. Just play with it. Yeah. Uh, I, I put a few markings in there and also spat all over it. <laughs> um, uh, but that's yours. <laughs> Thank you very Thank you much. Thank you. <laughs> Right. Axel. Yes, Hello. <coughs> Is it Zani? Zani. 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 I can't believe you call yourself Zani. <laughs> Good idea, though. Zani. Do I, does anybody ever call you 40? Oh, no. just, just a thought. Forty denier, you know, it's uh, stockings, nylons. No, no, no. no. Uh, Axel, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being very silly. How are you? I'm good. Oh, oh. Is that what you want to do? Start with yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay.
Uh, Zaini and I would like to start with Auf ein altes Bild by Hugo Wolf, and it's from the Mörke collection. And um, well, as the title suggests, it's about an, an old painting um, which has not been identified, but it's a very typical motif of the, of the Ma Mary, the Virgin, with her baby Jesus in her lap, playing joyfully. Um, this is just describing this motif, seeing this in a painting and then the beautiful forest behind and then as a lightning from a clear sky the narrator of the person realizes that among those trees already blossoms the, the tree that will become the cross. <laughs> when you get to there, mm -hmm. just a spiel of the Jungfrau Schultz. Can you give me just, just uh, da spiegelt of the Jungfrau Schultz? Can, can you just give me that line? Right. Mm -hmm. Two of you together. does overlap, but that's clearly the moment when attention goes to the wood. Mm -hmm. um, and just be aware of that. I mean, the song, I think, is brilliant. I think it's one of the most wonderful songs in capturing a particular aspect of the Bible, uh, a very important aspect of the Bible. And um, in presenting it, I think, I think it's... Uh, there's several small questions that one can ask about the detail, about how strong, for example, that accent is at the, at the end and what does it mean? The realization, perhaps, 
that this, the significance of those trees, or one in, one in particular, that's going to make a cross. Uh, and what happens to you after that? So we get, play, play, just play that, Zane, just play the last, the postman. And again. So this is just you musing on that, isn't it? And then the significance of it. solution to that is which is eternal life and then we get this major chord and contentment comes through and that's I think what is wonderful about it you know they have the, the, the tragic thought of all of that and mm. the, the cruel thought of all of that but at the end it leaves us with these two major chords uh, resolving it um, I always feel when uh, Never mind. Uh, the, the introduction, I think, is, is the way I feel about the introduction to, for example, Im Rhein heiligen Strom, da spiegel mich in Don, da steht ein Behildnis. There's a moment there, that little Zwischenspiel that you have in Dichterlieber, I'm talking about now, yeah. where you step through the door of Cologne Cathedral and suddenly you're into a different space. Uh, and you say, in Dom da steht ein Bildnis auf goldenem Lede gemalt. And similarly here, I think it's just a question of going around, as we could around here, around this church. You're wandering around and then suddenly, suddenly oh my goodness, there's a picture. So I, it's, I always feel I want to capture that moment of it being ordinary, it's very ordinary, yeah. until... Is it Dürer? I don't know. We sometimes think it's, it's, it's a picture of Albrecht Dürer. But there we are. It takes your attention. And it's small. So what can you do? You're just looking at this. The concentration is on Mary, the child, which is there. And what do we do as singers to take in, to illustrate the rest of it? You can't do much. You're just concentrating on where she is. Let's, let's enlarge it slightly so it gives us a few more few more possibilities and all it is is that a change of viewpoint from there to there for a while in grünen landschaft and then back to there for the final moment of the song and then it just then perhaps then perhaps you just step back from it and think oh, that says everything so encapsulated in that one song is an opera. <laughs> it's, like, it's like going through an entire scene uh, of an opera somehow, you know. The idea of going into church, seeing that picture, seeing the significance of it, the details of it. Blah, blah, blah. And it's a perfect example, I think, of, mm. of what we can do uh, in interpreting a poem set to music. Merica didn't want his music set by... Uh, never heard it said by Wolf. Heavens knows what he would have made of it. Hausmann never wanted anybody to set his music, and it was set over and over again by various composers. And I think it did them a service, really, largely. Let's just play the introduction again, can we? Use this, Axel. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Let's do that again. Can you? Uh, uh, not that I'm an example to go by, but if I was thinking, if I'm setting up this song, uh, and I know I want to be here, I don't want to be anywhere else, but maybe I just use that introduction just to get myself into a position. Where are we there? <laughs> uh, in, into a position, and then I just use that moment or a moment somewhere along the introduction to find the picture. Mm. After that, I don't want to go into... What's the first text? I can't remember. In Grüner Landschaft. <laughs> In Grüner Landschaft, Sommerfloh, I kühlen Wasser schilfen. Just that. Mm. This is the Streisand way of getting the song across. Barbara, very good at that. Paid a lot of money for it, but I'd rather she was just looking at the picture. In grüner Landschaft, Sommerfloh, bei kühlem Wasser, Schiff, schau wie das Knäche, wenn Sünde los, frei spiel it I use that frei. So you've got little opportunity to do anything, but yeah. and how lovely that child is just frei spiel it off there, Jungfrau Schoß. He's, he's just enjoying freely being in his mother's lap. Der Jungfrau Schoß, und dort im Walde Wonnesam. Ah, Grünet schon das Kreuzes. Just tiny things, but I think initially I want you to be bomb there. Mm. You don't need all the other stuff. Okay. I could belabor this. I do apologize now because I, I could work on this song all day long. It, there's just. Uh, so much to be said about it. You can't do that with every song, but sometimes you come across something that just captivates you. And this song has done that for me for a number of years. Feel it off, otherwise we lose the syncopation. We need we get in there quickly. With yeah. it. Um, the only other thing I want to add to that, that's, I think that's nice. I think that, that approach is nice. You know what artists, do you paint at all? Do you draw any, anything like that? You, I did as a child. Not, not, it, anymore. Is it not anymore? Yeah. Oh, well, I can tell you this because I've seen people do it. Artists looking at a canvas, looking at what, whatever it is they're painting, they do that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they do, don't they? I tell you they do. I've done it myself. Uh, they, they do that. You could, and I'm not saying you should do that, but there should be an element of feeling. I'm looking at this picture. What's he doing there? And we do that because it, it blurs things. It causes us to focus on where the attention needs to be. Mm. Is it there? Is it there? You can't take in everything. Exactly. You, 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 you examine it, and we, we screw our eyes down ever so slightly just to take it in rather than be there. Mm. <laughs> you know, I'm doing that when I'm singing Di Quella Pira, which I don't, I, I, pro I promise you. But never that I'd want to be there like that, you know, or something crazy, crazy. But if it's something like this, it's something very small scale, I want to reduce my attention, my focus, my concentration is reduced as well, so that I'm focused on that very, very small thing that is very significant. That's all, it's just a thought. It's not that you're doing anything wrong, I'm just telling you. Yes. What armament we have available to us. Right, let's go to the Landschaft. Um, <laughs> Do that again without the 
it's without the Streisand. Okay. Keep it simple. Yeah. You know, it's not corny to say this, but rather like um, trying to make an analogy. If King Philip, for example, in, in Verdi's opera Don Carlos, sits there in a throne and he listens to a, an orchestra that's going boom, 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 and he has nothing to do. He's in his black, he's got his medals on and various things, and he sits there, grey and sad, tragic. He's just found things out about his wife and Carlos. And the realization of whatever it is, uh, you know, whether you're reading the text and giving it to us and delivering it to us is one thing, that's something. But the other thing is the realization of what the, t the significance of any particular text. And at the end of this, this postlude, and you have to do this with Schumann in particular, because the introductions and postludes in particular are very long. You need to know where, where they're taking you. And you have to, in a way, you have to act, I feel, you have to act your way through them. You need to be on the case. You can't just detach yourself from the song. Those postludes are saying something about your state of mind and the state of the, 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 a cycle of songs, whatever it might be, and you have a contribution to make to that. Mm. So that in this particular case, you've got that harsh chord, where you've done Kreuzerstamm in whichever way you want to deliver that, whether it's the realization of the cruelty of it or the fact that we're now in present day or in Murica's time, in, in, in Wolf's time, long associated with the idea of this man having been cruelly nailed to a cross. Mm. We've got used to that idea. This so, uh, this, you know, the, the, the initial cruelty of it has worn off to a degree. So maybe it's just, ach, grüne schon, this Kreuzerstamm. Just as a sad observation mm. of what, what happened and the significance of all of that. Yeah. I'm going on and on far too much about this, but it's, it's useful when... We, when you play that pose, after the after the harsh chord of the, the realization, play play me out. After that, I think then is your moment of thinking. That, that's terrible. small mm. and the significance of the initial thing is there and then I think you have a thought to think that's really such a sad tale 
but we're all better for it. Maybe, mm. you know, it goes that way. So that, that's I, my, my reading of the postlude, anyhow, and, and, and what it does. Let's do something other. Uh, or ruddier than the cherry, or sweeter. Oh. <laughs> Should we do something else? Yeah, we right. have um, Der Tambour as well. Oh, terrific. Quite, quite a different song. A different song. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, this is also Wolf. Uh, Mörike, I believe it's the, the first the actually the first poem is set by Mörike. So it comes to number five in the cycle, or not cycle, collection. collection. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it, this is about a guy who's probably been been drafted into the army quite unprepared, or he feels feels not quite ready for it, maybe physically and mentally, because he's, <laughs> he's uh, yeah laying asleep, have, having trouble to fall asleep, thinking about. Uh, well, he lets his fantasy go, go completely wild, and it's the, the, main, the idea of wishing that his mother could be there, and yeah. if she was um, <laughs> some sort of, had some magic abilities um, to make um, the weapons into a fork and knife and a drum that he has. He's a drummer boy into a, a bowl where he can have his Sauerkraut, which is a special German dish. And his shaku. Yeah, and the chuckle and the yeah, the chuckle becomes a um, like a cup for for his to drink uh, wine from, and the moon shines in French, which is <laughs> he's, he's in on French territories. Um, yeah, that's yeah. Good. I think much. it's just like being in Catrick on a day off, really. <laughs> Catrick is a, an army camp not too far from here, right? Uh, yeah. Where where many 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 soldiers are. We think. But mm -hmm. well, this could be any war. It's not specific. No, no, it's it? not yeah, specific. It's no, it's German just, and, uh, just yeah. Europe in turmoil. Yeah. <laughs> Pre Brexit. <laughs>
Could you, could you think in my mother Hexen Kurt, the last one, yeah. as though the translation were, if only my mother were here? Yes. Yeah. 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 I think it has that quality yeah, about yeah. it. I think the only thing I would say before that is exaggerate the dream more. Yeah. Really, you know, you can be as empty as you like with the, the Zabel and the, and the uh, Sharko and the Zauerkraut. And really illustrate those much more strongly. Yeah. I think you've got the dreamlike quality initially, yeah. and then and then go to town on the on the uh, on the fantasies okay. and, the, and the images. Let's do it again. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I mean, you. I suspect he might have taken a burgundy just a wee bit before this as well, just to sustain him a little bit. You know, yeah. you know, oh, God, I'm in the army, drink. I'm in the army still, drink yet more. Yeah. Let, let in Lagavol um Mitternacht. Im Lagavol um Mitternacht, wenn niemand auf ist als die Wacht. Und alle schnacket Ross und Mann. Vor meiner Trommel seh ich da. Die Trommel müsst eine Schüsse sein. Exaggerate that more. I mean, you've got the uh, Schlegel, Miss und Gabel, eine lange Ostreich. I mean, it's it's a real uh, sort of piece of black pudding that you you describe. Lange <laughs> Ostreich. My the Schlegel. Uh, can you pick it up from there? Die Schlegel, Miss und Gabel, eine lange Again, and then when you get to yet had the spas on in, cry. Yes, had the spas on Okay. I mean, not not quite as much as that. Something like that. Okay. Or maybe we need to talk. Shine there, our husband Serge. Okay. Shine there, our our friends Serge. You 
miss your mum. Yeah. You miss your mum, I think, rather badly. But we'll call a halt there. I've gone yeah. too far. I've gone far too far. <laughs> Tom, we didn't mean to, didn't mean to cry. Didn't mean to make you cry. Um, just want to, uh, first of all, to add to your many attributes that of conductor. Oh yes. I think was that a world premiere we saw this evening? I know. Uh, the, only, the only orchestra I've ever conducted was the Berlin Philharmonic. Well, <laughs> and Lee Zeta, the young artist. Very, very briefly. So, on behalf of Lee Zeta, Tom, once again, we'd really love to thank you for all your kindness shown towards these young artists, as well as your incredible knowledge. Thank you ever so much. Great pleasure.